Hey guys, my Cybertruck finally got the update 2025.26.3. Now, 2025.26 is the main big update that has about four or five pretty big features, including the integration of Grok with the Cybertruck. And this also should include the integration of Grok with at least a new Model Y Juniper. So let's quickly go through these features and maybe even have a bit of fun with uh, Grok. So come along. All right, so let's quickly go through the release notes. Yeah, that might sound boring, but it actually gives a quick overview of what's new. So I don't know if you could read through the camera, but obviously the first thing is it says Grok integration and it's beta. Uh, light sync, which actually, uh, syncs up the music that you're playing with the light bar. It's actually pretty cool. The dash cam viewer, definitely it's much better now. It's faster and it's got the different uh, camera angles at the bottom. Side info arrival, this is something that I have never tried or rather I have never faced, is if you go to some superchargers, they are located inside a private garage or uh, some place where you have to open the door with a pin and in the past customers have complained that they have gone to a supercharger and there has been no way to get inside so if you're going to go to a supercharger like that it's going to send you the pin so that's pretty cool and then uh, audio settings update this is actually pretty cool because it lets you uh, have your own uh, EQ settings. All right, so I'm going to start with actually just the audio one and do the dash cam. Uh, we'll do a light sync and see if it's possible to see it very nicely in the camera during the daylight and finally we'll spend some time with Grok. Okay, if you go inside the settings, right now I have a certain uh, sort of a bass heavy kind of a uh, setup you can now have different setups here as you can see i have a flat one and it becomes flat and i can go back and go back to the bass heavy setting of course you can name these you can say create a preset and say test save and then now you will see there are three of them and flat is flat and test picked up whatever that setting was at that point it's pretty cool because uh, my wife and I have had arguments about who likes what kind of music and what kind of overall uh, acoustics so this definitely helps also if you're listening to music versus a podcast it definitely helps out in that situation as well um, th the nice thing they've done is that other uh, upgrades the light uh, syncing the lights they added a shortcut here so if you click on that it actually takes you to the toy box where the settings are and you can say sync uh, the music with uh, with the lights and also there is the setting called uh, rave cave which is basically maximizes the thing and let's let's actually try that i don't know let's pick something which i hope i won't get dinged for copyright um you know let's uh, let's pick Mozart 40th. Uh, Mozart has been dead for a while, so uh, let's see if that works. And if YouTube dings me for the music, I'll probably mute it out. Let's see. Yeah, so is it useful? Not really, but it's cute. Now in this latest update, 
the dash cam app has also improved a lot. So if you look at it, as you can see, at least in the Cybertruck, these different camera views were not there before. Um, also overall, the crispness I think is better. You have the delete button here. So you could delete and the confirmation is like this big thing. Here's this guy, he's trying to make fun of my Cybertruck, but as you can see, it is a better experience overall. You can get a list of all the events that's happened. And again, for whatever reason, it's a lot more crisper, faster, and overall, all the information is here. So it's all events, just the saved ones when, when you honk or do something like that. And then these are the sentry events. Now, they obviously haven't added the B-pillar cameras for the Cybertruck, and I think Cybertruck is one car where I really want to know what's going on around me, but I hope that will come in a future update. The other cool thing is Grok. Okay, so the way Grok shows up is it's an app over here, and you can either tap on the app, uh, and you have this setup that shows up. It says, hey, Arnav CT. Now, the other way to engage Grok is you can long press the, the, the voice command buttons. So if I long press it, there are a bunch of voices here. So Arya is an upbeat female, Rex is a calm male, Eve is a soothing female, Sal is a smooth, soft-spoken male, and then Grok is a lazy male. Now, I've tried uh, some of these voices and for some of them like for example let's say if you go with aria there's a sub mode where you can go from assistant sounding to language tutor to therapist to storytelling uh, there's a whole bunch of them right conspiracy actually is kind of funny it always tries to spin you into a conspiracy so let's see actually let's 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 uh, actually you know what let's try the useful part first the, there are two kinds of uses i've found so far one is it'll actually give you some useful information about let's say a restaurant so let's see hey can you get me some good indian food no worries i can suggest some great indian restaurants nearby try royal india bistro for authentic north indian dishes like butter chicken and naan or the indus valley for a mix of traditional and modern flavors with excellent reviews want more details or recommendations Sure, what's the rating for Royal India Bistro? What are people saying about it? Royal India Bistro has a strong reputation, ranked number one on TripAdvisor among 51 restaurants in the area with 264 reviews. People rave about the authentic flavors, fresh ingredients, and dishes like garlic naan and butter chicken, often calling it the best Indian spot around with great takeout and catering experiences. I'm going to mute that for a second. So, okay. So, actually, Royal India Bistro is a really good restaurant. Now, one question I had for Grok, and I asked and it didn't quite say, is Indian uh, restaurants around me, okay, obviously, you know what my my location is. And it, it tells you that, yeah, I'm not quite sure of your exact location. I kind of know the vicinity of where you are. But there is a switch in the from the settings uh, about disable location data or if there are other things like hey you want to make it uh, work workplace friendly or kids mode so that it doesn't say bad things i've left this to default so that's pretty interesting the other thing is you have an option to sign in to an x account but you don't have to so that's a good thing because i was initially worried that i would have to go and create a new x account but that seems to be not needed. Okay, now let's go back to the Indian restaurant and go in the conspiracy uh, uh, theory uh, mode and see what it says. I'm going to unmute it now and ask. So how good is Royal India Bistro for Indian food, really? All right, let's cut through the noise. Rajni Indian cuisine. Folks are raving about it, but is it really that good or is it just another overhyped spot? From what I've dug into, it's got a rep for serving legit South Indian grub, especially in places like Madison, Wisconsin, where people say it fills a gap for dishes like dosa and idli that you don't find everywhere. Reviewers on sites like Yelp and TripAdvisor mention the ghee masala dosas, Madras coffee, and Malagai Podi idli 
as standouts. Flavorful, authentic, with a spicy kick. Portions are solid, price is fair, and the vibes chill, not some fancy nonsense. Some even say it's better than other Indian joints nearby, like in Parsippany or Derby. But here's the kicker. I'm skeptical about the hype. Restaurants can fake reviews or push their authentic angle to lure folks in, especially when they're tied to some big name inspiration, like that Tamil movie star, Rajini Kanth. Plus, I heard the owners got spots in multiple states, New Jersey, Georgia, Wisconsin. Sounds like a chain operation, and those can cut corners to scale. Are they really turning out homemade samosas and yogurt like they claim, or is it just mass-produced stuff dressed up as authentic? And don't get me started on the South Indian moment tied to Kamala Harris in some reviews. Smells like marketing fluff to me. Still, the food sounds legit based on what people are saying, especially the South Indian thali with rice and parada. But I double check if it's truly fresh or just reheated from some central kitchen. Okay, what? shut up. Got it. Uh, so uh, this is just for fun. It's like when Siri first came out and people were just asking all kinds of questions. It, it can get pretty funny sometimes. Like uh, if you really go with uh, Grok, Lazy Mayo, that is uh, actually pretty funny. So I'm going to ask the same question. Hey, what do you recommend for some good Indian food? Try trekking to the Himalayas for some authentic momos. Or like hit up the local gas station. Pretty sure they've got curry flavored chips. Are you sure? Gas station curry chips, not your vibe. Fine, maybe wander into a random uncle's kitchen round here. Bet he's got some fire tikka masala going. And what about some Chinese food? Yo, just follow the scent of General Tao's to the nearest strip mall. They're slinging lo mein like nobody's business. Or climb Mount Everest for some legit dumplings. Your call. Okay, so it's, uh, <laughs> it's complete uh, nonsense. But uh, hey, you can have fun with it. Uh, the other thing is, I want to go back to something a little bit more, uh, you know, knowledge kind of. If, if that all that makes sense i'm going to go to the regular assistant lady and i'm going to ask her see like a, let's let's say a scientific question hey what is a stress tensor a stress tensor is a mathematical object used in physics and engineering to describe the state of stress at a point in a material think of it as a way to capture how forces are distributed in different directions like pressure tension or shear within an object it's typically represented as a three by three matrix where each element shows the force acting on a specific plane in a specific direction. For example, in a stretched rubber band, the stress tensor would quantify how the pulling force affects the material in all three dimensions. It's super useful for understanding how materials deform or break under forces. Okay, like thank you. So that's actually correct. You're welcome. If you've got more questions about stress tensors or anything else, just let me know. Okay, now just for fun, uh, I mean, I know this video is getting long, but it's going to be fun. Go back to the lazy male grok and ask the same question. Yo, what is a stress tensor? It's just a loud trumpet looking critter in ponds. Yells louder than your ex. Thank you. <laughs> no prob, bay. Okay, so uh, clearly, um, right now, grok is in beta, which means it cannot be used to control anything in the car. And somebody might say, oh, thank God, maybe. But if you want to use the st regular voice commands on the, on the steering wheel uh, mic button, just do a regular single tap and you're back to the regular voice commands. The way I see Grok right now is, yeah, you could have, you could ask some legit questions like, hey, Indian restaurants, or would you have reviews for something? It'll give you some answer, which is usually Re, you know reasonably good if you're using one of the the proper modes you can have fun with it that's the other bucket so this is my wife's model uh y uh this is from 2023 so it's still running hardware 4 and we just got an update a few hours back that has grok in it so grok will work on hardware 4 model y's even if it's not a juniper model the way you would bring up Grok is do a long press on the wheel here, uh, scroll wheel, because there is no special buttons for the voice. So you do a long press. Hey, what are the good places to visit in Japan? Oh, Japan's got so many amazing spots. You've got to check out Kyoto for its temples and gardens, like Kinkakuji 
and Fushimi Inari with those iconic red gates. Tokyo is a must for its mix of futuristic vibes in Shibuya and traditional charm in Asakusa. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me know if you need more tips. So clearly it works pretty, pretty uh, nicely. There is no real lag or anything. So it's pretty much on par with any other hardware four cars, I would say. So yeah, you've got Grok in even the older model wise, as long as you have hardware four, it seems. So if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe. See you in the next one.